Welcome back again to another episode of Learning. For today's video, pag-uusapan natin ang Chord Chord Power Theorem. Isa ito sa tatlong uri ng Power Theorem na i-discuss natin sa circle. Okay? So kung nakaabot ka na sa video na ito, ibig sabihin tapos mo ng pag-aralan ang theorems on angles formed by tangent, seconds, and chords. Medyo mahaba-haba rin ang lesson na iyon. Okay? So pag sinabi nating power theorem, ibig sabihin niyan ay segment lengths na ang pag-uusapan natin. Wala na tayo sa angle. Tapos na iyon. Segment lengths. So this time, segment lengths of the chord. So we have the theorem, uh, product of the length of the first chord is equal to the product of the length of the second chord. Anong ibig sabihin niyan? Let's say we have the given circle, the chords P, R, and Q, S intersect at point T. At kapag nag-intersect siya sa point sila, sa point T, ibig sabihin nahati yung dalawang chords doon. So yung P, R nahati sa dalawang chord, dalawang segment na P, T, at saka T, R, habang ang S, Q, or Q, S naman ay nahati sa Q, T, at saka S, T. So ibig sabihin, ang product ng segments nitong P, R, which are P, T, at saka T, R, ay equal sa product ng Q, T, at saka T, S. Given this one. So, PT times RT is equal to ST times TQ. So, nilagyan ko siya ng mga letters. Yung PT ay A. So, times B, yung TR, is equal to C. Ito yung uh, TQ. At saka yung D naman ay ST. Let us apply chord chord power theorem in this figure. So, we have the given figure and given the lengths of the segments of the two Chords. At hahanapin natin ngayon yung value ng x. So using the chord chord power theorem, we have 8 times 12. Itakunin natin yung product ng length ng first chord. Ito yon We have 8 at saka 12 is equal to 18 times x which is the unknown. Since kukunin natin yung x dito, i-divide na natin both sides by 18. Huwag nyo na muna itong i-multiply kasi baka may makancel tayong factors dito. So, dito, 12 at 18, meron silang GCF, which is 6. So, 12 divided by 6 is equal to 2. 18 divided by 6 is equal to 3. Okay? So, yung 8 at 3, wala na siyang uh, GCF other than 1. So, proceed na tayo sa pag-multiply. 8 times 2 is equal to 16 over, ang natira sa denominator ay 3 is equal to X. Ayan na kaagad ang sagot. So, itong x natin, ang length na ito ay 16 over 3 units. Pwede rin, nyo rin itong i-change into uh, mixed number, pero okay na rin itong 16 over 3. Next example, in the figure, find the length of QO and PR. So, ang QO natin dito ay yung length ng chord na ito, at saka itong PR ay length ng chord na ito. Ah. Okay? So, dahil meron tayong algebraic expressions dito, may values tayo na unknown, yung x at saka x doon, kailangan muna natin kunin yung value ng x using the chord chord power theorem. So, the product of the segment of OQ or QO, we have 12 times x minus 2. Ito yung 12. Itanimes natin sa x minus 2. Is equal to the product of the segments of the second chord, yun yung 9. Ita times natin sa x minus 1. Yan. Solve for x. Magdi-distributive tayo rito. So, magiging 12x minus 24 is equal to 9x minus 9. And then, we have 12x. Yung 9x lipat natin, minus 9x is equal to negative 9 minus 24 dito. Kaya magiging plus 24 sa kabila. And then, 9x or 12x minus 9x is equal to 3x is equal to negative 9 plus 24 is equal to 15. Divide both sides by 3, x is equal to 5. Ayan, so x is equal to 5. Baka tumigil na agad kayo dahil nasolve nyo na yung x. Tingnan nyo kung ano yung hinahanap na length. Kung yun ba ay PS, kung yun ba ay OS, pero this time ang hinahanap kasi ay OQ. Ayan, so ang OQ natin ay 12... 12 ito. Tapos, anong measure nito? So, x minus 2. Ang x natin ay 5. So, ito ay 3. 3 at saka 12. Pinagsama natin. So, O, Q, O is equal to 15 units. Hindi natin sila imumultiply ha. Kasi, ang hinahanap yung kabuo ang length. Next, ano naman yung measure ng PR? So, ang 
RSI9, ano naman yung PS? Substitute lang natin yung 5 dito sa x minus 1. So, meron tayo rito yung 4. Ayan. So, 4 plus 9 is equal to 13. That is the length of PR. So, is equal to 13 units. Kung mapapansin nyo, kapag pinag-multiply nyo, 3 times 12 is equal to 36. Ganun din dito. 4 times 9 is equal to 36. Kasi nga, ang product ng segments ng first chord ay equal sa product ng length ng second chord. Let's have the next example. In the figure, if AC is equal to 14, find the length of AO and CO. This time, ang given na natin ay yung AC, okay, which is the length of the chord AC. Okay? So, dito may given na tayong DO, which is 3, and OB is equal to 15, which are the segments of the chord DB. Okay? So, wala tayong measure ng AO at saka CO kasi ito yung kukunin natin. Ngayon, paano natin isosolve yung segments ng chord AC? Okay? So, let's say this is chord AC. Yan. A, C. Tapos meron tayo rito yung point O. ba ang kabuoan nitong AC ay 14. Ngayon, if we let AO is equal to X, ayan, AO is equal to X, anong measure ng OC? Kung ang kabuoan ng AC ay 14, ano ang ating OC? Siyempre, minus mo yung X dito sa 14. Dahil wala tayong value pa ng X, OC is equal to 14 minus X. So, ibig sabihin na represent natin ang AO as X at saka yung OC as 14 minus X. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung product or segments ng chord AC. Tsaka natin isasolve muna yung value ng X. So, product of the segment of the first chord, which is 3, times 15, ito yung segments ng chord DB. Next, is equal to product of the segments of the second chord, which is AC, X times 14 minus X. So, 3 times 15 is equal to 45, is equal to for X times 14, 14x, x times negative x minus x square. And then, lipat itong negative x square sa left side. So, magiging ano ito? Positive x square. And then, 14x minus 14x plus 45 is equal to 0. And then, by factoring, dahil ito ay negative, yung middle term, positive yung ating uh, last term, kaya ang factors natin ay parehong negative. So, x minus 9 siya at saka x minus 5 is equal to 0. So, itong x minus 9, x is equal to 9 at saka itong x minus 5, x is equal to 5. So, ibig sabihin, itong x minus or x equals 9, x equals 5 ang segments ng ating chord AC. Okay? Kasi nga, pag minultiply natin ito, 9 times 5 is equal to 40. 5. Ganon din kasi yung 3 times 5 which is equal to 45. So, pwede itong 5, pwede itong 9. Okay, so, kasi nga, hindi in-specify kung ano yung longer segment sa dalawa. So, A, O, and C, O ay 5 and 9 units. Kahit hindi mo na ilagay kung A, O is 5, C, O is 9. Okay lang yun. Kasi nga, katulad na sinabi ko, walang in-indicate na uh, longer segment dun sa dalawa. For the last example, in the given figure, find the value of x. So, x lamang ang hahanapin natin. So, by applying the chord chord power theorem, get the product of the segment of the first chord, which are x minus 2 and x plus 5. So, x minus 2 times x plus 5 is equal to the product of the segments of the other chord. Meron tayong x minus 1 at saka 2x minus 4. Dahil parehong binomial iyan, gagamitin natin ang FOIL method. So, x times x, x squared. x times 5, so plus 5x. Then, negative 2 times x, so meron tayong minus 2x. Negative 2 times 5, negative 10 is equal to x times 2x, 2x squared. x times negative 4 is negative 4x. Negative 1 times 2x is negative 2x. And then, negative 1. Okay, so negative 1 times negative 4 is equal to positive 4. Okay, so meron tayong x squared, 5x minus 2x, and then plus 3x minus 10 is equal to 2x squared. Minus 4x minus 2x, so meron tayong minus 6x plus 4. And then pagsamahin natin dito sa right side. 
para hindi na mag-negative ito. So, 0 is equal to 2x squared. I-minus natin yung x squared. Minus 6x. Yung 3x magiging minus 3x. And then plus 4. Yung negative 10 magiging plus 10. So, 0 is equal to 2x squared minus x squared ay x squared. Negative 6x minus 3x minus 9x. 4 plus 10 is equal to plus 14. So, dahil negative ang gitna natin, positive yung dulo natin, ang parehong factors natin ay uh, x is x minus parehong minus. So, meron tayong factors ng 14 ay 7 at saka 2. So, meron tayong x is equal to 7 at saka x is equal to 2. Ayan, bakit dalawa ang ating value ng x? I-try muna natin dito kung ano yung magiging uh, segment na hindi magpapanegative dito or magiging zero yung value. So, kapag naipalit natin yung 2 rito, ayan, meron tayong value na magiging zero. So, 2 minus 2 is equal to 0 kasi wala naman tayong length ng segment na 0 kaya i-disregard natin ito. Therefore, ang value lang ng ating x ay 7. Kasi pag pinalit natin yung 7 dito, wala tayong value na magiging negative at saka 0.